Nurti Tumad. I am Ulan, chief of the village of Vignamri. You have a peculiar face. And it looks familiar. I didn't know that people from the continent could bear the mark of the Onol Manawi. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I met a member of your clan in New Serene, a merchant. Oh, so you are the strange Onal Manawi who helped and saved our hunter. I am very grateful to you. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. I knew the Renaik say could be good. And you proved to everyone that I was right. You are someone that the kings of the Renaik say respect and listen to. Are you not? As the legate of the congregation, it is true that I can talk to all the governors of this island. That is what I'm taught. I need your help to talk to the leader of the great city of Hikmet. About what? I want to meet him to offer a peace treaty between his clan and mine. The Sisaignemeis. Many kings want to chase the Renaigse away from the island. Especially the kings of Hikmet. But I know we could learn many things from them. And we could arrange a great deal. I see. I can indeed talk to the governor about your desire to make peace. If you do talk to him, can you also tell him that one of my clansmen has come to trade with his town? I sent him some time ago. But I was told that the soldiers did not let him in. He fears for his life. Because some other clans do not look favorably on exchanges with the Renaikse. He could be attacked at any moment, alone on the road. Very well. I will make sure that he obtains permission to enter. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I am looking for the High King. It is imperative that I find him. I would like to help you, friend from the faraway oil. But our High King has decided to walk away from our world. I was told that you were one of the last to have seen him. Perhaps he told you where he was going? The other kings and queens already complained that I am too close and too near the Renoixe. I fear that they would consider me a traitor if I reveal to you what I know. Help me solve the problem that I spoke to you about, and I would be happy to help you in return.
Lord de Sade. What bountiful wind brings... Enough pleasantries, Excellency. They are a dull canter after such treachery. I beg your pardon? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that after sending me to save your savants that you then again sought my assistance? According to you, I needed only to convince the Tierna Hakaductus to provide us with a remedy. But you used me like a pawn, seeking in truth to capture her. I... I cannot understand why you are reacting in this way. I was certain that the Witch Doctor would refuse to help us. They have us marked down as enemies, after all. And I had good reason to believe that you would not resort to physical persuasion. You are even ready to use brute force against your own allies. Whatever do you mean? After wounding the Tiana, your spy attempted to kill me, Excellency. And you dare to tell me that my anger is exaggerated. Can I remind you that to assassinate a legate is to declare war against his sovereign? I never... I promise you that I had no intention for any harm to befall you. That man went beyond his orders, I assure you. I implore you, please accept my sincerest and profound apologies in the name of the Bridge Alliance. I can only give you the benefit of the doubt for now, Your Excellency. In the meantime, you need not keep a candle lit for the return of your spy. He paid for his audacity with his life. I... He would have been made to answer for such infamy, I assure you. Once again, I apologize sincerely for this crime. It should never have happened. In any case, we need to get our hands on this woman. The remedy is perhaps... There never was a remedy. It was a wild goose chase. Perhaps even some sort of machination. No. That... That is terrible. This is a great setback. How could I have been so naive? What a shame. I am truly sorry that you risked your life in vain. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I met Ulan, the Bone Blower's clan chief, from the village of Vignamri. He is an open-minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty, even an alliance. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name. But to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, a member of Ulan's clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us, and he might even prove useful. If the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord.
Please, help me! Just keep walking, Renaixe. This does not concern you. Have mercy! They will kill me! I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. I never thought I would see several Islander warriors attacking a mere merchant. And I thought honor and righteousness were of the utmost importance in your culture. <laughs> I must have been mistaken. What are you trying to say, Renaixe? Are you insulting us? You're insulting yourselves by behaving this way. He's an unarmed man. He's trying to survive. What honor is there in attacking him? He is a traitor. He deserves to be punished. But you are right. He is not worth attacking. Let's leave. His punishment will come once we have chased the Nanaigse away, and he cannot sell his products. Adlo Reda on Almanawi. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside. And the Donea Exdragao took advantage of this opportunity to attack me. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the governor of Hikmet, which should allow you to set up your stall in the city. Adloreda Renaixe. Thanks again. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. Ulan, I see that the governor of Hikmet's emissary is already here. He is. And I am very thankful that you succeeded in organizing this meeting. I am full of hope for the future. We are very grateful as well, Your Excellency. However, if you could leave us, I am sure you can understand that the discussion we are about to have must remain confidential. Naturally. I hope that you will reach an agreement.
Bertirtuman. I am Dunkas, the Mal and the Doné God of the Yigido. You're very strange for Renaixe. Who are you? My name is Desarde. I am the legate of the Merchant Congregation. You are a Lugayir Blau? Oh, I didn't know there were on al amongst them. They may not be so different from us, after all. What brings you here, on al -Manawi? I seek your High King, and I was told that you were the last to have seen him. That was many moons ago. And if he has chosen to walk away from our world, who am I to go against his wish? Please. I would not ask this of you if it weren't a question of life and death. I hear your words. Your clan has not given me many reasons to trust you. But if you prove my suspicions wrong, I will help you. The Lugayer Blau fooled us in the past. It is their turn to prove their good faith. What do you want from us? Not long ago, we clashed with your clan. Your people said that the forest belonged to them and prevented us from entering. We spoke with your Lady Morange, and we almost came to an agreement. Then an elder from my village poisoned three woodcutters. That stopped the discussions. The old man responsible for the deaths must be punished, I agree. But not by your people. Not until we are sure we can trust you. There is a mine in the forest that the congregation has long operated with help from my people. But digging into the mountain has risked it collapsing. We reinforced the earth with wood. We worked with the Lugaid Blau to save the mountain and the men. We agreed to stop digging and sealed the entrance with a boulder. But some Renaigse came back, and I think they started digging again. And some of my people started going missing. Perhaps because they had seen them break their promise. If the mountain collapses and it is your clan's fault, thousands of lives will be lost. And you want me to intervene? You have to stop them. Remind them of their promise. This is the price of my trust. If you do, we punish the person responsible for the death of the woodcutters, and all our quarrels will be gone. I'll go to this mine and see what's going on. Is there anything else? I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Qua Awalum Seg. So, have you reached an agreement? Our discussions were very fruitful. However, we are faced with a problem. Really? Our peace treaty depends on the ability to exchange freely. And Chief Ulan has warned me that our merchants would be at risk of being attacked by the neighboring clan. Mordun, the chief of the village of Egugsob, 
is at the Nea Exregal. He is among those who think that the people of your Royland are only here to take from us. But his village would also benefit from this agreement. If you could convince him to meet us, we could reach an understanding, allowing the caravans to pass through his territory. Without this, I am afraid we would not be able to make a commitment. Peace and trade are linked. If our merchants risk their lives coming here... We am sure that you will manage to convince him that the Renaixe are not all bad. I can try, at least. At Redar, we will wait here and hope that you will manage to reason with him. What are you doing here, and I say? Your coin are not welcome in my village. Ulan, the king of Vignamri, wants to establish a trade agreement and sign a peace treaty with the governor of Hikmet. This sounds like something he would do. All he ever thinks about is picking up the crumbs left behind by the Renaixe. All of that in hope of breeding new life into his village, while insulting the memory of the deceased men and women who lived there. Hikmet's emissary will only sign if their merchants can move freely and in peace. They want to meet you. I am not like him. I am a Donea Exregal, a proud man, not a slug. The Renaixe cannot be trusted. They are deceitful, and only seek to trap us. The Danea Exregal I have met were fearless, 
And yet you are running away from a mere meeting. By refusing to negotiate, you are only showing weakness, nothing else. Carl, not Freddy. The worst part is that you are right. We cannot refuse this meeting without appearing weak. Fine. I will meet Ulan and his emissary. But I will not go to his village. Tell them to find me at Lambristel. I will be there in a few hours. I will tell them right away. Thank you, Mordun. You really know how to talk to people. I never thought you would be able to convince Mordun. His anger towards the Renaixe is so strong. Mordun is willing to meet you at Lanristal to sign a peace treaty. You really are an accomplished negotiator and diplomat, Your Excellency. I knew you would succeed. Thanks to you, the whole region will be at peace. Do you know where this place is, Ulan? Of course. In our language, Lanristal means Glade of Promises. It is a sacred place, one whose peacefulness must be respected. Bodes well. In that case, we should go there at once. Yes. I will follow you. Come back to see me soon. And if luck is on our side, we will celebrate peace together. Ulan is acting strangely. I do not trust him. We should go to Lan Ristal to make sure we're not being tricked. And if we want to see this encounter, we should leave now.
waiting. You dare attack me in sanctuary. What doom is being attacked? Let's go and rescue it. Adloredar, thank you for coming. You saved me. Dadakar Setulan. I should have known he would betray us both. My men are dead, and now I am injured. He achieved exactly what he wanted in the end. I will have to join another clan if I do not want my whole village to suffer the consequences of my defeat. I'm sorry, Mordun. I really am. You were deceived, just like I was. Sometimes, among the stones, there can be snakes. Farewell, Bonol Manawi. And do not let yourself be betrayed again. Traitor! This meeting was meant to establish peace, and yet you have exclusively sent armed men. Mordun was a Danaea ex regal. He would have never accepted an agreement with the Renaig Say. He would have endlessly attacked our merchants and our allies' caravans. We had to protect ourselves if we were to make these exchanges possible. So we did. By lying and manipulating me. I am sorry. But I was unsure that you would agree to help us if I told you the truth. I understand your anger. But keep in mind that we are now at peace. Thanks to you. You are now a Karans of Vignamri. And should you seek it, you will always have our assistance. Anything else? I'm in need of your help, Ulan. I'm looking for your High King Vinbar. I was told that you were one of the last people to see him. I wouldn't know where you could find him. He disappeared moons ago. But you are our ally. Our friend. I will tell you about the last time I met with him. We had met in the council at Dorhad Genadu to decide what to do about the Renaigse. But we were unable to come to an understanding. Some of us are full of violence and refuse to see what we gain by befriending your kind. Deirdre and the poor Bladnid were among them, alas. And only speak about the massacres. I defended you, of course, and attempted to make them hear reason, with some help from the cautious Dunkas. But our disagreement angered Vimbar. He decided to leave us and to seek counsel elsewhere. He wanted to go to the heart of the island, to consult with En on Milfrigdiman. Do you think he might have stayed there? Oh, I doubt it. It was too long ago. You should travel to Wenshavar, his village, 
Even if he decided to stay away from his people, he would not have abandoned his closest friends. Thank you, Ula. Anything else? Nothing. I must go.